But as police are investigating the city's 16th homicide of the year after an elderly man, the victim of an assault, died at Rhode Island Hospital. It's a story we first told you about on Friday night. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live in Providence now with more details. Jared. That's right, Mike. We are here at Rhode Island Hospital where Eric Brandon passed away after a savage assault right in front of motorists just after a morning commute. Murder in the first degree. This is how Providence detectives are now classifying the death of an elderly Central Falls man. Police confirmed to Eyewitness News Wednesday, 78-year-old Eric Brandon died at Rhode Island Hospital of serious injuries suffered in a broad daylight attack Friday. He had been on life support. The police documents Eyewitness News got a hold of Wednesday called the wounds incapacitating. According to the report, Brandon was panhandling near the Branch Avenue I-95 ramps, which drivers told police he often did while sitting in a chair just before 10 a.m. That's when witnesses say a man wearing a brown jacket with a hooded sweatshirt underneath approached Brandon and struck him in the face, the force sending the 78-year-old to the pavement. Police learned the assailant then walked towards North Main Street, hopped on a bike, and rode off simply leaving Brandon with fatal injuries, including brain damage. Eyewitness News found signs with the word homeless on them nearby, though police don't believe Brandon was, listing him as a Central Falls tenant in their report. So was it a robbery or an attempted one? Documents note hospital staff found $99 in fives and ones on Brandon at the trauma center. A difficult case to work, but police continuing to work it. Nobody in custody at this point in time. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiner, Eyewitness News.